Hi. Hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you, girls? Fantastic. I'm fine, and you? Pretty good. Yes, with a lot of energy as always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yesterday you were in, um, uh, working, is that right? Yes. Yeah, but you are here and I'm so happy to see you. Okay, <laughs> I don't know about you, but today it was really hot right now and I had to took a shower. So that's why my hair is a little bit wet. Ha, sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, smells like like flowers, right? Ha, what? There, there is like a rhythm there, right? When you when you like um, when you are wet, do you remember what is exactly the um, the idiom here in El Salvador? Uh, it smells like wet grass, right? Or I don't know, wet mud, uh, tierra mojada, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I that's what it is, right? All right, there you go. Okay, let me put it here a little bit. Let me move my camera just a little bit. There you go. I think it's much better. There you go. Let me check. Yes, teacher, don't move. Yes. I think I'm here. Yes. Yes. I'll lift my face. <laughs> there you go. Okay, tell me, uh, did you do your homework by the way? No, oh, no worry. We're going to practice today. We're going okay. to practice today, so don't worry about that. Okay. Uh-huh. What about you, Christian? Did you do your homework today? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, congratulations. I'm so happy about that. Very good job. Tell me, remember, what was the homework about? Do you remember? Yeah or no? What was the homework about, guys? It was about uh, practice relative clauses, right? Relative clauses of time. Good, night. Good evening. Good evening, Patty. All right, so we saw about um, relative clauses with time. We saw the particular um, clause when, remember? When, when we're talking about time. And do you guys remember that we practiced yesterday, for example, uh, we said um, uh, labor date is a date when uh, Salvadorians had, most of the Salvadorians has a day off, have a day off, okay? Have a day off, remember? When, when is the, the word that we use to, to join the two ideas? Do you remember that? So basically, the, the, the homework was about that. I sent it to you like, um, I think it was one, two, three, four, five, six dates. And you need to complete them with when. For example, guys, they said um, Children's Day. What do you do or here in El Salvador? What normally people do uh, when they celebrate Children's Day? October 1st. Yes, October 1st. Mm -hmm. Most of the time is Monday, is that right? Yes. Yeah, I think it's the first Monday of October, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah? Okay, tell me. So, Children's Day. Children's Day is a day of what? It's a day when people do what? Do you remember? Patty? Or Helen? Noemi? Daniela? It's the day when we celebrate the importance or value of, of the kids. Very good. It's a, it's a day when we celebrate the value of the kids. Exactly. Very good. You see, Helen is putting in practice relative class of time. When. Mm -hmm. Okay. Patty, did you do your exercise? Did you do the homework, Patty? No, right? <laughs> I sent it through the WhatsApp group yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. did, did you do the homework the same like Helen did? Is it still a tarea igual que Helen? Is, see. 
Okay, G give me your example, please, about Children's Day. What did you put there? ¿Qué pusiste allí? Yes, I could. Take a moment, take a look. The children's Day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no lo tengo. I so, don't. You I, don't have it. Okay. I don't so, have. So what? What day do you have? ¿Cuál es la, la que si, what day do you have? Because we have March 18, we have Christmas, we have Mother's Day, third Sunday of June. Which one you have? ¿Cuál hiciste? So, es que eso no lo tengo, no sé dónde. Oh, I, I, I send it through the WhatsApp group. Are you in the WhatsApp group? ¿Estás en el WhatsApp group? Sí. Yeah, is there? Eso creo, sí. Yeah, is there. I, I sent it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you can double check your notes. Aha, uh -huh. don't worry, that's okay. <laughs> We're going to practice, okay? But even though you, you didn't do it, eh, Patty. Let's put in practice relative clauses. Remember? When. Okay. okay. So, for example, uh, Mother's Day. It's a day when, when you do what, Patty? Mm, it's a month when Salvadorians celebrate Mother's, uh, Mother's Day and uh, give, uh, give care. Uh huh, exactly. Yeah, give. Mm -hmm. How give. give. Uh huh. Yeah, a mother a Mother's Day is a day when Salvadorians uh, provide gifts to their moms, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, say say that one more time, like that way. Repeat it, please. Mother's uh, Day. Mother's Day is a month when Salvadorians it's a, no, it's a day. celebrate. It's a it's day. It's a day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When Salvadorians celebrate. Uh, Mother's Day and give a give what give, give presents? Yes, um, present right? Yeah, um, presents to who? Eat. Uh huh. Um, Family eat. Yes. Flowers, mm -hmm. chocolate. Yes. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, Those kind of presents. Okay. Mm, very good, Patty. Excellent job. And what about you, uh, Maria del Carmen? Now it's your turn. I didn't do that homework, did you? No way. <laughs> okay, let me give you another date. Um, third Sunday of June. Tercer Domingo de, uh, de Junio, third Sunday of June. What do you normally celebrate there? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, come on. Well, oh, if the, if yes. there, for example, a, a celebration, I, I, idea, please. I don't know if uh, day. if uh, uh, yes, you see, Father's day. yeah, yeah. What did you say, Patty? Father's, Father's day. day. Father's Day, she said. Okay. Okay, so give me a phrase, give me a sentence. Third Sunday of June Third is a Sunday date. Third Sunday of June uh, is a date. Is a date when the Salvadorians celebrate mm -hmm. with with the father. Very good with their father. Yes, it's a it's a date, no day. It's a date. Day. Date. Because for example, yeah, yeah there's okay. there's two type of expressions. For example, if I said, let me let me write right now. Uh, let me write it down on the chat. If I said. Let me give it, let me double check. Let me just put it right now, this one. Mother's Day is a day when, and then you add what you think, right? It's a day when, but for example, guys, if I'm providing a specific date, like for example, um, we can say, yes, for example, Third Sunday of June. That is the one that we're talking about, right, Maria del Carmen? Okay, I'm put. I'm giving you exactly a specific date, no day, date. Like so, you said, third Sunday of June is a date when. Do you see the difference in the chat? 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm yes. talking about general Mother's Day. Okay. I'm not giving you like 10 of May 10. If I'm giving you May 10, I will provide you a date, no a day, a date. So I will say uh, May 10th is a date when Salvadorian celebrates or celebrate um, to their mother, for example. But if I said um, Mother's Day, Mother's Day is a day, and you express yourself. You see the difference? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sammy. Yes, Sammy. I just want to, to say something. Go ahead. I know, I know that I'm being, I'm disturbing the class, but I'm driving. Oh, yes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> because I'm still working. So okay. I don't know if it's any problem that I want to be only the listener in this class. Absolutely not, Sammy. Absolutely no. I'm so okay. glad that even though you're busy or you're driving, you're still in the class. I'm so happy and proud of you. That's okay, Sammy. Thanks, teacher. Uh, Thank you. I just notified because uh, I don't know if you, for example, want to make me a question. I, I, I probably will, can do that. Oh, do me a favor, Sammy. Now you're driving, but oh, as long yes. as you're able to stay or to, or if you arrive to a place and you are able to, uh, hey, to answer. I'm, I'm still driving. Hey, so, so as long as you're able to, to or if you arrive to your destination, just send a message, okay? I'll say, teacher, okay. I'm ready for you to uh, ask me as many questions as you want, and I will be asking you, okay? A okay, bunch of questions. <laughs> You're welcome, Sammy. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. All right. Uh, Ronald Umberto, Christmas. Teacher, uh, uh, first no. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sir. I, 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 I didn't understand the, the, the last example. Which one? Uh, when you explain about. Uh, the, the last example, third Sunday of June, and, and ah, okay. after, that you, and after oh. that you say something different. Yes, it's because, for example, uh, can you take a look at the chat, Umberto? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have Mother's Day, okay? I'm talking about, in general, Mother's Day. I'm, I'm not giving you a specific information. So I'm talking about Mother's Day is a day when, and you express yourself about what you do that day. Ah, I got it, but mm -hmm. it's different when you say third Sunday of June is a day. You, 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 you. I'm providing what? a specific detail. Mm -hmm. ah, a specific okay. date, like for example, May 10th, right? Or June 17th, that is when normally people celebrate Father's Day, for example. Okay. If I say June 17th is a date, it's because I'm giving you that specific date of the month. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so, okay, so that's the difference. Date okay. and day. Okay. Very okay. good. Okay. Cool. No, but that's okay. I, I'm so happy that you understood because any doubts, you're feel free to ask me. Okay. Don't worry about okay. that. Okay. 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 Thanks. Cool. My pleasure. Okay. We're missing November 20th. What did you put for number on their 20th, guys? No, no idea. November 20th. On the WhatsApp information that I sent it to you yesterday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, it's Thanksgiving. No. Mm. no, no, November. I don't know. Did you make some search by any chance? What about you, Melvin? Any any idea about November twentieth? No, no. Oh my God! Uh. Not really. No, really, don't tell me. No way, that's not possible, guys. That's not possible. Uh-huh. What do people normally do on November 20th? I don't know, but in, in internet said that is the New Year's Eve became the first, the first mm -hmm. state to uh -huh. ratify the below right yeah exactly very good job oh, for example what about march 18 march 18. well on march 18 is when uh, is a date when all salvadorians must work right 
<laughs> it's an example, right? <laughs> it's an example. Very good, guys. Okay, I know that you need to think about, right? We will continue talking about that. We'll continue talking about that. But uh, let me ask you something. Uh, do you have like a, fa a, a favorite uh, dates of celebration, by the way? What is your favorite uh, dates? Uh -huh. Christmas. All right. So you said Christmas. Okay. So your favorite holiday is Christmas. Okay. Do me a favor. I want you guys to think about three favorite holidays. Okay. Three favorite holidays. I just want you to think about them. Just think about them. I will give you one minute so you can write it down or you just think about them. Three favorite holidays. It could be here in El Salvador or it could be in another place. That's okay. But most of the most of the time here, here, here in El Salvador, okay? Three of your favorite holidays. I will give you one minute. Three of your favorite holidays. Okay, I do have chestnut here. My dog is here. He's the second teacher that you have, guys. You want to say hi to the students? No? What's up, baby boy? Hey. He's so cute. All righty. Time is over. Okay. All right. Tell me. Uh, 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 okay. Thank you so much for participating. Go ahead, Melby. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me that, did you? Okay. Hello. Hello. Um, so tell uh, me. This, 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 holiday, this holiday is just for me. Because Why? in my work, your birthday is that you can take day off. Mm. 8th April. Okay. And what do you like about it? This is my, my birthday. Okay. 8th of April. April this is 8th. My April 8th. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, this is one of your holiday. Another holiday that you like? Because Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day, definitely. Okay. Mother's Day, definitely. And, and what do you I like celebrate about it? To my, I celebrate uh, with my mother, with my, uh, with my grandmother, mm -hmm. and, and my wife. Okay, so do me a favor. Use exactly the same yes. idea with, with relative class. Remember when? Okay. Yes. Mother Day is a day when my family uh, celebrate all with my, my grandmother, my mother, and my wife. Very good. Excellent. And the number three? Father's Day. Uh, <laughs> and tell me why. The same reason. Uh, the no, same no, no. reason. No, 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 no. Don't, not same reason. I want you to, to express yourself again, please. Okay. Father's Day is a day when my family mm. give us gift to my father and me. Give us gift. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what, you, what, you, what you're trying to, under, to say, but could you please use another word instead of gift? So it could not sound like repetitive. Another word. Mm -hmm. I know that you know that word. Use your vocabulary that you know. Yeah. I know that you know. Prepare gift for my father and, and me. No, use another word instead of gift. Gift. Present. Yay, very good. Okay, give me the same idea, but with present word. Go ahead. Okay, Father's Day is a day with my family. Prepare presents for my father and me. Okay. Yes. Or give us presents. You can say that. Okay. Because okay. if you give said us give presents. us gift, it's like a redundant. Okay. I know okay. your idea. I know your idea. But I will I try to that you express give yourself person. much better with the vocabulary that you have. That's good. Okay, give us Very. give us presents. Give us presents. Excellent job, my man. Very good. You give me dog five. That's amazing. Okay. So yeah, so you, so Melvin said uh, his favorite uh, holidays are Carlitos. <laughs> oh my goodness, teacher. Yes. Uh, the Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. 
Father Day's um, birthday day. And his birthday. Okay, very good. Yeah. What about you? What's your favorite uh, for holiday? Me, I need uh, three. Christmas. Okay. Um, Christmas and um, Mother's. When? Christmas, why? What do you uh, do there? It's 31. No, I know, I know, I know that when the, when most of the people celebrate Christmas, but I want mm. to know why you like it. What do you like about it? Um, because um, no, when relative okay, loss. Okay. When sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, the Christmas uh, day is um day mm -hmm. when we celebrate with my family mm -hmm. in my house uh, uh, the the last day okay. for the year. Very good. And we invite all family in my house. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's the first one. What about the second holiday? Uh, the mother, the mother's day. Okay, why? It's a, it's a day when we celebrate with my uh, mother and my sister. Okay. Uh, we, we, uh, we made a little party. <laughs> oh, that's good, okay. But it's okay, full. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah. But any chance did you cook? Do you cook that day? No. Mm, no, right? No, no, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just asking. That's okay. Okay. What do you? What about the third holiday? Uh, the Father Days. The Father's um, Day. The Father's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, Why? It's a day uh, mm -hmm. when we celebrate. Um, because my my father is not you know you know it's not living with with. With us? With me, with mm -hmm. us. So mm -hmm. uh, we, we moved to another country in El Salvador to, to celebrate. So this is a, yeah, it's a family day. You moved to another country or to, a, Sorry, to another we, department? We another department. So. Which one? <laughs> hey, can, can you please uh, let me know where? Uh, Usulutan. Really? Oh mm -hmm. my God, to the other corner, right? <laughs> yes. Hey, he lives in the is Usulutan capital city or no? No, no, it's uh, close to Sulutan. Uh, it's uh, Santiago de Maria. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So you're going to the north, right? Near uh, Alegria, Sulutan. Yes. Near Alegria, to, right? Yes, hey, my to. husband is from Alegria, so I know that. <laughs> it's it's amazing. It's amazing. I like it. I like the weather. It's really yes. fresh. Yes, it yeah. um, has a lot of different play too. Yeah, come, places, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, very good, excellent. Okay, so you have listened to what Carlito said, right? So he has in common the holidays, uh, two holidays, right, with uh, Melvin. Which ones, guys? Which ones? Which holiday they have in common? Mother's Day. Mother's Day, and which other one? No Noemi or Danny or Wendy, I don't know. Mercy? Fathers. Feathers, exactly. Very good job. Excellent. Who else I want to participate? Uh, ha, ha. Me, me, me. Noemi, yeah, very good. Go ahead, my girl. Uh, Melvin co copied my idea. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, so, oh my God. I'm so sorry. Thursday, <laughs> uh, okay. Christmas Day, Mother's Day, and um, birthdays okay but my let, birthday let me know regarding first of all your birthday why do you like it we're using relative class okay when birthday is a day when i receive many uh, greetings and gifts and gifts all right or you can say presents as well very good okay. excellent okay. Uh, what about mother's day you, you mentioned that also yes mother day is a day when in general mm -hmm. i don't do house House, house chores <laughs> okay house so it's a relaxing day for you yes, yes <laughs> all right very good and what about the other one the third one christmas day is okay. a day when the family cook a special food and together okay yes exactly together yeah okay very good so you have one in common with uh, Umberto, I remember that, yeah. And also you have two in common with Melvin. Excellent, yeah. very good. Okay, let's listen to our Salvador, so our Salvadorian Salvador Dali, all right? That means Mr. Umberto, Ronald Umberto, it's your turn, sir. Which are the three favorite, your three favorite holidays? Well, my first, a holiday is Valentine's Day. Why? Be because because the no, it's because. the day 
No, because relative clause when. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Valentine's Day is, is, is when people uh, give presents, for example. In my case, I, I, I like because my girlfriend uh, oh. give me some presents, some hugs and some kisses. I knew it. I knew it. Because last time that you uh, <laughs> put that example, you said Valentine's Day is when girlfriends give presents to their boyfriends. I was like, I was expecting something like that, you know? Okay, very good. <laughs> what about the second holiday? The, the second holiday is Christmas. Uh, mm -hmm. Christmas is, is, is a day when people share with, with, with the family, for example. Uh, we, uh, they, uh, people have a, a, good, a good time mm -hmm. eating, for example, turkey, drinking and so on mm -hmm. and the last one is the mother day because it, the last one is is mother day mother day or uh, mother's day mother's day all right uh, when people uh, share with with the mom so mm -hmm. i think the mom is the is the is um maybe, maybe in my case is the is the person that that that, mm -hmm. that give me everything in my life so of course yes so this this is the reason this is the reason that that, that I put mother day all righty all right very good excellent now guys let's vote no let no let me ask one more person mercy it's your time to speak mercy <laughs> yes Speak or speak with me, even though, right? Okay, Mercy, okay, which you. ones are your three favorite holidays? Uh huh. Uh, the first one, in my case, also is the Mother's Day. Okay. Uh, the Mother's Day is a date when I spend a very good time with my mom okay. and my sisters. All right. Second one? And the second one, maybe is Christmas. Mm -hmm. Christmas is a day when all my family eats together. Okay, that's So nice. for that reason, I, I like it. Number and three. And the third one, yeah, maybe our anniversary. Okay. Our anniversary is a day when we go out to another place and we spend a very good time Ooh, with together. your husband yeah ah okay i like it very good excellent okay thank you thank you so much mercy so guys you have listened to some of your classmates talking about their favorite holidays so let's vote let's vote guys which ones, according to what you have said or what your classmate has said, which holidays are the most popular? Which ones? Christmas, maybe. Christmas, Christmas okay, Noemi, Noemi, which one, whatever. Another one? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day, Mother's Day. very good, Fernando. Mother's. Okay, and what else? Yes, no, Annie? Mm -hmm. yes. Their days. Yes, Wendy, and birthdays. Are you missing something? Any Father's other day. one? Father's Day. Father's Day as well. Very good. Exactly. So we said Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, and also, um, what else? Birthday. Birthday. Okay. Very good. So those are the most popular holidays that you guys have in common. Okay. Now, guys, let me ask you something else. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, now guys, uh, we're going to uh, do a writing activity. Okay. And this uh, writing activity, I'm going to send it through you to the WhatsApp. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, I promise um, Helen that we're going to put in practice exercises that will help her with her skills at the hotel. So it's the time to practice, right, Maria del Carmen and right, Helen Mercedes? Okay. Okay, guys, allow me just a couple of minutes. I'm going to send you information through the WhatsApp, and then I will explain to you what we're going to do. We have uh, practiced the speaking. Now let's practice the writing, okay? All righty, allow me just a couple of minutes. Bear with me for a moment. 
As soon as you have it, let me know, okay? As, as soon as you receive it, please, guys. All right, bear with me for a couple of minutes. Do -do 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 -do. There you go, that's what I want. Okay, guys, did you receive it? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. All right, guy. Okay. Okay, guys, think about that you're, you're working in a travel agency company, okay? So you are travel agents, expert travel agents. This is what I want you to do, guys. I want you guys to think about a festival or a celebration where you live, okay? It could be here in El Salvador, or, or, or it could be, for example, if you're from Sulutan, a celebration from Sulutan, San Miguel, Santa Ana, eh, etc. okay? I want you guys to let me know when when is it? That means when do you celebrate it? How do people celebrate it? And if, for example, me as a teacher or, um, or somebody else that does not live in your country or in your department, what the people should visit and see and do. Okay? Am I making myself clear? See? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Let me put it right now in Spanish. Ok, you work for a travel agency company, ok? Usted trabaja para un travel agency company y póngale que le han dicho, quiero que me haga un email, ¿sí? O un advertisement para atraer más gente, turistas, ya sea internos o externos, ¿all right? Entonces usted tiene que agarrar una celebration de su país o su departamento Y me tiene que decir cuándo se da, cómo se llama también, right? Of course. Eh, cómo se celebra, ¿sí? Y cuando yo voy allá como visitor, ¿qué es lo que puedo ir, ver o qué es lo que puedo esperar de hacer? ¿Ok? Do you, the, guys, do you see the, the little paragraph that I sent it to you? It's an example. It's an example. So, how I want you to write it. Patty, do you have any, any questions? I see your, your fro forehead like oh my god what she's talking about yes buddy mm. no 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 it's, uh, i understand okay cool so do me a favor let's speak or let's read guys the information that is there because this is only an example who can help me read it uh, 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 uh. jose ismael could you please be so kind to read it for me for read it for everybody the example that I send you there right now. I don't know what happened okay. to Jose. Okay, very good. The annual. Mm -hmm. The annual? The annual what? What happened, Jose? Okay, I think I lost Jose. Okay, let me check. Who else can help me? Uh, 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 uh. Janet, are you able to help me? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Could you please be so kind to read it for us? Okay. Okay. The annual fireworks festival in Jeshu, Jenshui, mm -hmm. Taiwan. Occurs on the last day of the New Year celebration, mm -hmm. it's the first full moon of the new lunar year. It's a day when people explode fireworks in the streets, in the streets, paint their faces, and dress up as dress up as. Very good. Okay, guys. So you see, that is a little example that I want. This basically, guys. What what is the festival or the holiday that this little paragraph is talking about? Fireworks. Fireworks. Firework festival. Yeah, but this is annual fireworks festival. Okay, where where, in which country? Jenshu. 
Tai Taiwan. Taiwan. In Taiwan, but the city is Jianshui. Jianshui. Okay, exactly. And okay, so it's in Jianshui, the annual fireworks festival. And when it happens, in what date or day? Last day of the new year. Okay, last last day of the new year celebration. Okay, and tell me, what do they people do there in that time, according to that information? Explore fireworks on fireworks. street. Fireworks in the streets. Okay, this is one thing. What else? Paint their face. Paint their faces. What yeah. else? And dresses up. And dress up. Dress up as vestirse. Dress up. Dress up. up as. Okay. Vestirse como. Puede ser como cualquier cosa, okay? El dragoncito, yeah. right? You know, tiger, etc. Okay, so this is exactly what I want for you guys. Okay? I will give you, let me check what time is it right now? 8.34. I will give you only two minutes. That's enough. Two minutes to write a little paragraph about any celebration here in El Salvador. You need to let us know what is the name of the celebration, when the celebration happens here in El Salvador, and what do people do in that celebration. That's all that I need. But do you, you can see, guys, that we'll keep using the relative clause when. Okay? We keep using that. Okay? So I will give you two minutes. And I'll and I will come back to you, okay? Okay, guys. Then we can share that information together. Well, it's not me. Try to write as simple as possible, okay? A simple paragraph, only three lines or uh, the most four, okay? Okay, one more minute, guys. Don't Google it, okay? Don't Google it. Just write what you what you remember. Finish? Finish or not? Yeah. Yes? Okay. All right, let me start with the specialist on this, Miss Helen Mercedes. All right, now that you work in a comfort end, right? You should know about holidays here in El Salvador, right? Because, of, yeah, people from a different country that will ask you, hey, and what can I do here? Or well, am I coming to a specific, uh, I don't know, holiday? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen to you, Maria Mercedes. Go ahead. What do you say, Maria Mercedes? Oh, I don't know why, because I love her, maybe. <laughs> Helen Mercedes. Okay. November 21st, 
Mm -hmm. in so it's the date when people in San Miguel commemorate. I don't know if it's, it's right to say Virgin of Peace or Virgen mm -hmm. de la Paz. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Virgin of Peace, okay. The Catholic Church, church mm -hmm. celebrated with a big festival with a parade and, a, and Catholic music. Mm -hmm. And also is is a day off for San Miguel department. Oh, that's good, excellent, very good. Okay, now yes, Maria del Carmen. All right, <laughs> what about you, my girl? Okay, um, the carnival in San Miguel. Okay, very good. Uh, the carnival in San Miguel uh, occurs on the last Saturday of November. Mm -hmm. uh, this is when uh, choice a uh, king of, of carnival. Mm -hmm. And the people can share more time with your friends and entering years. <laughs> oh, okay, very good. All right, that's nice. Excellent. Okay, so guys, we have heard about San Miguel's celebration. Okay, let's let's go to the opposite side. Santa Ana, Mr. Fernando Minero. What about you, sir? Okay, teacher. <laughs> this fest this festival is celebrated on different day in El Salvador. Okay. Mm, the core festival in the Congo city is celebrated mm -hmm. on August 21. Okay. It's when tribute is paid and thanks are given for the core crops received. Ah, I didn't know that. Okay, that's interesting. Very good. Okay. Thank you. What about okay. you, Melvin? What do you have for us? Uh, it's a short, it's a short, uh, in El Salvador, second Sunday of November mm -hmm. is a date when we celebrate Pupusa's Day. Really? Ah, uh, yes. That's right. That's, that's right. Yes. Some okay. places Delicious. commemorate, mm -hmm. some places commemorate this day, making, making, making a big pupusa. Or oh, preparing a big one. Yeah. Yeah, yes, just, exactly. Just this. Really? That's nice. Yes. Excellent. Very good. But that was a really good one. Very good. Excellent job. I'm so happy for everybody right now. Very good. Excellent. Another big team. Sorry, another volunteer. Adela, what about you, Adela? Hello. Hello is your turn, my man, my woman. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, in Antigua Cuscatlán, okay. you, can, you can enjoy the Holy Innocent Children. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. With parade, dancing, and delicious typical food, music, and others. Very good. Excellent. That, no, but that's good. You know what? When you said innocent and then Humberto was like, is she talking about me? No way. <laughs> All right, very good, <laughs> excellent. Hey, what about you, Wendy? What do you have for us? Hello, Wendy. Okay, Wendy, I think is not here. What about Catherine Ramirez? Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry, okay, sorry, Wendy, sorry. go ahead. <laughs> That's okay, Wendy. What do you have for us? Okay, I have the Christmas. Okay. The celebration is when the people get together in their house. Mm -hmm. they come they dance, they enjoy the company, and at the midnight they can see fireworks in the sky and they give hugs at our, your, our, his family. Their family, okay. I th you were like so emotional about that, right? Oh, that's good. Okay, excellent. <laughs> very good. I think it's your February holiday. Okay, very good. What about um, Noemi? What you have for us? Um. Fiesta Julius. Okay. In Santa Fiesta. Ana. Yes. Okay. I am Santa Ana. I am from Santa Ana City. Oh, okay, good. Uh, Fiesta Julius is a celebration when Santa Ana people enjoy with the family mm -hmm. during a week. Okay. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Occurs. Occurs on 13 at 26 July. Mm -hmm. July 26th. 
in everywhere of the street you can listen music plays and you can eat elotes locos oh yes typical candy yes i love it crazy crazy a lot right crazy corn <laughs> very good excellent and the pat the celebration the candy. celebration is the patron saint uh-huh exactly yes yeah i remember that because my my grandparents from my dad's side they are from santa Ana as well very good excellent thank you naomi umberto what about you if it's time for you to speak go ahead sir finally teacher yes <laughs> well in my case the annual festival in santa tecla is celebrated in december okay and it's when people share with with their neighborhoods and drink and drink a lot when the neighbors neighbors Na neighbors sorry mm -hmm. when it's neighbors and and drink a lot and okay. beside that is when people dance cumbia for okay. example uh, reggaeton mm -hmm. and, and however some people uh, prefer to visit the church okay. in order to pray Mm -hmm. But it's a good time in order to know new friends. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Very good. So you see, we have uh, information about San Miguel, Antiguo Cuscatlan, right? Santa Ana. Now we have Santa Tecla. All right. Now who else? Okay. Annie, what about you, Annie? What do you have for us? Annie Rosales. We cannot hear you, Annie. Good night, teacher. Good night, Annie. Uh, night, uh, Which holiday are you talking about right now? Uh, from from 20, 20 to 25 July. Okay, July uh, 25, okay. Uh, the Santiago okay. City celebrates Santiago. the okay. celebrate the Viajes party. Really? Okay. Yes. What's what is yes. that about? Tell us. Okay. Mm, there is um, typical food. Mm -hmm. There's typical dance. Okay. Uh, at, at night, um, July, July, at night, July, uh, twenty four at okay. night. Okay. Uh, there is there is um, a party with different music. Okay. Uh, um, there is um, a mechan me mechanic mechanic games. Okay, uh, mechanical uh, games. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the people dress up with new clothes. Oh, okay. So you're talking about Santiago. You said Santiago was Santiago of Chile. Santiago Nonualco. Oh, Nonualco. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I didn't know about that celebration. That's an, that's interesting. You said yeah. June 24, right? Or July 24? Uh, from July 20. Oh, from July to, 20? Okay. Uh, July to July 25. Ah, okay. So five days, the whole week. Oh, yes. okay. That's yes. interesting. Very good. Thank you. And last but not least, Jose. What about you, Jose Ismael? Yeah. Finally, teacher. Yes, me. Yes. Go ahead, Thank sir. You, Thank for you. The opportunity. Of course. Thank you for participating. I write something about the the festival of uh, El Cerro Verde. Oh, okay. Tell us about it. The, the, the Crown Hope Core. Jocote Festival. Uh -huh. Jocote. Mm. Yes, it's a party when people celebrate the fruit with mm -hmm. an ev with an event where you will to be see a show with music mm -hmm. and dance. Mm -hmm. And there are different kind of food prepared with Jocote. Oh, that's and amazing. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's I wish nice. I could go there. I, I think also in Cerro Verde, there's a day when uh, a special day of coffee. I don't know if I'm mistaken. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, you, you, you're talking about Jocote, right? Jocote celebration in El Cerro Verde. Yes. But if there's another celebration like coffee day, for example. I don't know. Or pineapple day. I don't know. Pineapple, yes. 
Ah, really? The pineapple festival is in Santa Maria of Tuma. Oh, you see? We're learning a lot. We're, we're, we're going back to Santa Ana on the top right, Cerro Verde. San, oh my God, Santa Maria of Tuma. That's amazing. Okay, what about you, Carlito Arevalo? Thank you so much, Jose. Um, a few years ago, I visited the, the Santa Maria of Tuma for okay. the Pineapple Festival. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting, but uh, when I went to the site, uh, we found a lot of people, crowd, mm -hmm. very crowd. Okay. Um, but it's very interesting because I, uh, the, the, a lot of people share the pineapple and uh -huh. different different type of pineapple. Okay. Uh, you can uh, we we find uh, there there are a lot of typical food. Mm -hmm. Um. Also the the, the 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 local people prepare the pineapples with uh, different way. For example, juice. Um, I, I don't know to check. Very good. <laughs> pineapple. So you have different type of pineapple well, there's, and different kind of recipes and preparations like yes, beverages, yes. right? Sweet things. Oh my goodness. I like it. Mm, mm -hmm. I, yes, I love a, a pineapple that they serve, uh, they cut it in pieces, but they, they use the, the same uh, structure of the pineapple to put it inside. And yes, put some yes, tahin, yes. I think is the one that it calls. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I love it. You know what? In Costa Rica, there is no tahin, it's a condiment. So my niece, every time that she comes here, she said, Tia or uh, Auntie, right? I want to go to the supermarket because I want to buy three or, or four bottles of tahin so I can take them with me back to Costa Rica because I can use them with pineapple. I can use them with green mango, with jicama, and, and you know, hokore. So, oh my goodness, she loves it. She loves it because there you cannot find it, but here in El Salvador, yes. So you cannot imagine. I had to go to the supermarket with her to buy the tahin, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, guys, very good. So far we have used and we have practiced a lot, right? Relative classes. I know that you will dream with relative classes from now on. You will remember that, okay? Van a soñar con los relative classes, okay? <laughs> very good. Okay, okay. So today I'm going, I want you guys, let's practice the listening part right now because that will be, guys, an introduction for tomorrow's topic. But I want you guys to pay attention on this particular dialogue. Basically, it's two friends. It's two friends, and they are talking about uh, an, a specific uh, celebration for one of them. And I want you guys to pay attention on what is the celebration about, what had happened, and when that has happened, and where, okay? So I'll let me just a couple of minutes. And let me know if you are able to listen okay bear with me for a couple of minutes guys there you go that's the one that i need okay let me just a couple of minutes and i will let you know when there you go okay all right very good Okay. Okay, I'm going to share right now my screen with you, but it's going to be just a listening part. Let me check. Yes, this one. It's only the sound. Yes. Tell me if you're able to listen, okay? You're waiting. Can you see? Can you listen, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, no, wait, 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 let me a couple of minutes. <laughs> All right. Pictures are really beautiful. Oh. And, uh, Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, Usually, only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. Mm -hmm. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, 
The bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay, guys. So tell me, what is this dialogue talking about? Wedding ceremony. Wedding about, ceremony. Yeah. A specific word. Which country? In Japan. Yeah, in Japan. In Japan. Japan. Okay. Japan. So basically, there were two friends, right? Open an album of a wedding day and double checking all the pictures, right? Tell me, what is it, what happened in, in, in that wedding in particular? What happened? Is it different? Yes. Why is it different? Tell me. Because the, the, the ceremony is only with the family and the close friends. Uh-huh, exactly. And why? Oh, and tell me something. Do you remember where they have the ceremony? Do you remember the place? No. No, no I don't hear. I, you don't hear. Uh -huh. I, I told you. I hear, I but I don't understand what, uh -huh. what they say. I know, I know, I know. It's because from now on, I remember that I will let you know that I will play the audio only one time, right? Do you remember that? Uh -huh. Yes, yes I'm, I'm going to be a terrible teacher. Okay, they said in a shrine. I, I send it to you right now, the information in a... Uh, in the dialogue chat, what's that? Um, that, guys, is another way to say it in Spanish, santuario or uh, templo. Mm -hmm. Remember that there we have a lot of temples, right? Or shrines, right? Templo, Buddhistas, right? Hinduistas, yeah. Sintoistas, etc. Mm -hmm. Because of the oh. culture, right? Mm -hmm. What is the mm -hmm. Shrine. In a Sorry. shrine. Mm -hmm. oh. I know it's really it's really hard to pronounce it. <laughs> I know that, but I will shrine. send it to you. A shrine. Uh huh. Shrine. Mm -hmm. Sh shrine. Yes. Shrine. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Very good job. <laughs> little, 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 right. Okay. It's complicated. <laughs> okay. I hear that like mm -hmm. a full a seafood. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. You say that only family members and friends they can a join to the ceremony right and the reception but a do you remember something about reception in japan guys what did she explain about that do you remember that is it a, they have a big, oh, big dinner. dinner okay big dinner okay and after, after the meal what happens they have speeches the speeches the only speeches and presents they give presents uh-huh P speeches Presence and songs to the guests. exactly it's really interesting right that they are the ones who getting married so they're not they're not supposed to receive gifts they but they give presents to the people who assist to the party right yes. it's really interesting right. okay it was it's like the opposite way right and do you remember what kind of gift do they give to the to the people that assist to the wedding with sweets or with, with sweets with sweets exactly but also she mentioned sugar why they put like ceramic bottles which with sweets why what what because uh -huh. the sugar, because sugar is meaning a uh, happen exactly happening. it's meaning of happiness in japan exactly it's really interesting right the custom Mm -hmm. yeah. it's really interesting yes. Yeah, okay, very good. I want you guys just to pay attention on that. And I want you right now, let's practice some pronunciation of some words or some phrases that they use there because I want you guys to practice there really quickly. All righty, because we want to, uh, we're going to talk about stress and rhythm for those pronunciations, for those phrases. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share it right now on my screen. Bear with me. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I have it here. Yes. There you go. Okay. Are you able to see my screen? No, right? Bear with me for a couple yes. of minutes. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. That's good. Excellent. Yay. 
Okay, bear with me. Bear with me because this is what we have seen so far. This is what we have practiced. You see, this is the dialogue. There you go. Okay, take a look at, the, at this phrase, guys. Here, in each part, this is what we're going to put the emphasis of the pronunciation, right? Okay, let's practice just the word where each ball, where each square or, or circle is. People. Repeat after me. People. 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 Marriott. 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 Japan. 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 Sometimes. 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 Ceremony. Ceremony. Shrine. Shrine. I know. And one more time. People. 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 Okay, hold it. People. And I was like, okay. <laughs> All right. Marriott. Marriott. Japan. Japan. Sometimes. Sometimes. Ceremony. 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 Okay. Okay. So let's practice the whole sentence. Okay. When people get married in Japan. Okay. When continue. People, ah, no, no, people no, no, get no, no, married no. in Japan. No wait. Let's start over one more time. <laughs> Come on. When people get married in Japan. When people, when people get married in Japan. 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 That's what I like, Mr. Umberto. Very good intonation. <laughs> they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. They sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. Ay, hasta ritmo, ¿sabes? No, eh? Shrine, you see? Just, hasta tenemos bien un ritmo bien chivo, right? When people get married shrine. in Japan, shrine. sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. Okay, do it, please. When, when people, people get married, married in Japan, Japan, Japan the 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 very good. Now, guys, it's your turn to put the correct intonation for each sentence. How do you pronounce this one? After the ceremony, okay. There's a reception with family and friends. Very good. Okay, what about the second one? Before, Before the, the guests guest leave, leave the bride and, bride and the groom give them presents. Okay, the bride and the groom give them presents. Very good. And the last one? The guests, the guests the guest usually give, give money, money to the bride and groom. Very good. Bride, la novia y el novio, right? Groom. Okay, yes, excellent. Congratulations. Not too bad. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so, so happy. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now, uh, this is going to be your homework, if you can say that. Okay. I want you guys to think about customs. Customs that we do have in El Salvador. But, for example, talking about births, nacimientos. Courtships, cortejos, good luck, buena suerte, marriages, casamientos, and season, épocas del año, okay, o estaciones. Yes, remember, marriage, courtship, cortejo, okay, birth, nacimientos, good luck, buena suerte, right? And which one I'm missing? In seasons, seasons. For example, I remember that. I don't know, but I remember that. Um, <laughs> I will give you this little story. Okay. Uh, my sister, when she was uh, in a relationship with, with the father of my niece, okay, they got fight, right? They got fight. They got an argue. So, and my brother in law brought her serenata. Serenata um, at 12 a.m. in the morning all right okay uh but you know what it was really interesting that my sister's uh room and my room were next to each other i was assigned in the university by the time in both rooms are in front of the street estaban en frente de la calle so he was like giving like right his concert and my sister didn't open the window. And in myself, I listened to the whole music. And I was supposed to be on time next day at the university. And you know what? I couldn't sleep that day, that <laughs> night, because of him. 
And well, well, he was sad, right? Because, uh, well, La Serenata didn't work. But you know what? <laughs> uh, the next day, we used to have an, uh, an old friend. It was an old lady. She was about 60, 60 years old. And she said, Solvita, yes, what happened? You know what, what? Yesterday, I don't know, but I heard a music. Ah, uh, really? Yes, there was a music. Uh, it was a pretty good music, trios, I don't know, or rancheras, I don't know. Uh-huh, but uh, I was so happy because that reminds me when my husband used to do that with me. Really? Yes, <laughs> he used to do that, that, that with me. And I, and I was so pleased listening to all the music of the rancheras and the trios, and I was like, Oh, you know what? Her name was Elizabeth. You know what, Miss Elizabeth? Yes. <laughs> those those songs were supposed to be for my sister. <laughs> and she didn't open the door. But I'm so happy that even though the songs didn't please her, they pleased you because you were so happy listening to all the music and remember what your husband used to do. Can you imagine? And I was like, <laughs> I was so happy because at least... That old lady was so fascinating with the concert. <laughs> it was so fascinating. That was amazing. So you see here in El Salvador, uh, in, the la in the past times, they used to do that, right? Yeah. Like ran rancheras or, or serenata to the girlfriends, right? Especially when they fight. I don't know today or, or now in these days if it's, it's exactly the same custom or maybe some guys, maybe, I don't know, Humberto, maybe Ismael, Carlito, Fernando, I don't know. They are still a romantic guys and, uh, and they will do that with their, uh, I don't know, wife or girlfriends. I don't know, right? So I want you guys to think about that, about any customs or courtships, right? That is a courtship, by the way. That's un cortejo, no, right? A, a courtship, a marriage. And then let's discuss that tomorrow, okay? Okay. 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 Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Hugs and kisses. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.